What is up, YouTube? This is Vault here, and today I got you guys a Lost Thunder Elite Trainer Box opening. Man, oh man, am I excited to open this epic product. Wow. And then we have Zerara on the front cover. Very nice. Really like this graphical art they always do. It's very simple, but yet very nice to look at. All right, so let's see what we have inside this Elite Trainer box. Ancient power echoing from the mountaintops. Travel to the forested hills where the fragrance of incense from ancient shrines and the sparks of high voltage fill the air. The Sun and Moon Lost Thunder expansion fuses the new with the traditional featuring Celebi and Ditto plus Blacephalon GX, Lugia GX, Tyranitar GX, and the newest mythical Pokemon Zerara GX. Call down the big thunder and charge up your deck with the high-powered Pokemon in the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder expansion. And as we can see, roughly of the stuff we get inside here in this pack, so I will not show you guys there because it's just much easier if I open this and take a look for ourselves. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make be sure to subscribe to the Vault channel because we are opening many, many Pokemon TCG products on this channel. So be sure to stay tuned. All right. Let's see. We, I believe right here, we have our special art. All right. So we have our Zerawa. We have a Lugia. And then we have our Celebi and Blacephalon for our art. So these are the four arts we will be getting from the booster pack. And then we have a player's guide. Just gonna quickly flick through this. And I really like this. You know, it's the list of cards you basically be getting in this set, which I always like to look at, you know, for everyone who wants to check and keep track on what cards they might possibly get. This is a really, really good player's guide to look at, to keep track of all the time. But I won't look into too much because, you know, I want to be excited and see what we get in this Lost Thunder opening. All right. Now, right here, we have, I believe, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Lost Thunder booster packs. And then we have our typical Counters, GX, Poison, and the Burn, made of really nice hard plastic, which is not like uh, um, the paper cardboard we usually get. And then here is the dice, we go for a big one. So it's like half transparent, no this is not transparent, this is like opal, opal type or like opaque. So sort of see-through, but not really. So I, I really like the color of this dice. And then we have our smaller ones, the damage counter dices in yellow and blue. And this one is blue and yellow. And then we have our card dividers. I mean, our deck dividers. You know, slightly different design on each side, but both of them have Zerala on it. And then we have our code card. So let me know down below on what you guys get. As well as our energies. We love energies. Because it's so essential for every single deck. You know, every deck needs an energy. Without it, no deck. Doesn't matter what Pokemon you use. So assorted different types, just all mixed up. I think it would be better if they actually just sorted them for us instead of just like randomly jumbling, but. You know, either way, energy is nice to have. And then we have our pack of sleeves of Zerala. I really like it. Man, I'm so glad that Pokemon decided to release their own sleeves. You know, because many players don't really have sleeves. That, uh, I mean, there are not much product out there that have Pokemon artwork on the sleeves. And I really like uh, when sleeves has artwork rather than, you know, using the plain colors that are kind of boring. So here, the box sits nicely as always. Here's the front, side, 
Lost Thunder. I'll put them right here so we can see Zarawa. So, we have eight Lost Thunder booster packs. So, for those who haven't really seen the actual art of the packs yet, so this is the Lugia one. And then here's a Celebi. And then we got Zarawa. And then we got Blacephalon. Right. So, without further ado, let's start cracking on them. Uh, let's start with this one, the Blacephalon. Yeah. All right. So, we've got Fighting Energy, Custom Catcher, Hitmon Top, Magnora, Fampi, Kankata, Marill, Wormpole, Litwick, and Tapu Fini for a Reverse Hollow. Really nice. Liking it. All right, for our first one we got. Ooh. Oh, a Tapu Lele Hollow card. Really nice. So we got Tapu Fini and Tapu Lele together. Look at them. They match so well. Perfect. What a way to start off. All right, let's uh, go for Celebi on our next one. Oh, see days. Oh. So here's the code card for you guys. We've got Steel Energy, got Custom Catcher, Fairy Charm, Hitmon Top, Marill, Onyx, Merlot, Reap, Wormpool, Dead and End for Rehearse Hollow, and we got a No. Right. Sorry about that opening just now, guys. Uh, for for you guys who know, um, you know the code cards reveal. Uh, what type of uh, good card you'll be getting or not in the pack and that's kind of unfortunate so I'll try my best not to review um, the color of the cold card and uh, yeah which I actually did already but I'll give you guys a code so sorry about that but I've got Dark Energy, Delibird, Cascoon, Lost Blender, Pinnacle, Eevee, Brussish, Durant, Marie. And a Prism Star Celebi, which is okay, even though we got a green card, which is not supposed to have a good card, we still got a Prism Star card, so, you know, doesn't matter, still just as exciting. Alright, so we got 90 HP, and then we got Time Distortion, Devolve any number of your bench Pokemon as many times as you like, put each evolution card removed this way into your hand. Okay, and then we got Leech C, 20 damage, Hue 20 damage from this Pokemon. Very simple. And then we got Tangrowth. Alright. Moving on, we haven't opened a Zerawa yet, so let's open this guy up. Man, I really like the design and look of this guy. Really nice artwork. Okay. Then we got Leaf Energy, Kecleon, Sightseer, Whitney, Houndor, Cutie Fly, Chinchow, Hoppip, Picky Peck, and a Reverse Hollow Unknown. And then we got another unknown. Okay, we got we got the exact same unknown: Reverse Hollow and a uh, a, a non hollow <laughs> back to back. Okay, all right. Moving on to our next pack. We'll open the Bacephalon. So, Steel Energy, Electabuzz, Hecleon, Netball, Diglett, Natu, Chikorita, Pachirisu, Hoppip. Oh, another Prism Star! Very nice! Heat Factory Stadium. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire Energy card from their hand. If they do, they draw three cards. Whenever any player plays an item or supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to this Stadium card. Wow. Fiery Stadium Energy. Really good for Fire Dex then, I believe. And we got a Wiggly Tough. Okay, 
two Prism Star cards so far with one Hollow. So really good. And then now, let's open this Celebi pack. So we got Water Energy, Cascoon, Wait and Sea Hammer, Netball, Snubble, uh, Mariani. Okay, we got Cyndaquil, Poipo, Combi, and a Reverse Hollow Wormpole. Let's see if we can get a Hollow card here. Okay, and we got a Meloetta. All right, two packs left. Can we get a GX card? That would be awesome. Alright, let's start with uh, Lugia. And I really like the artwork for Lugia as well. He looks really, really cool. Alrighty. We have an Electric Energy, Fairy Charm, Mixed Herbs, Flaffy, Combi, Mariani, Larvitar, Slowpoke, Capchu, and a Shinodic for our reverse hollow. Really interesting. So another mushroom type Pokemon, just like Fungus. Or Fungus, I can't remember his name exactly. And then we got a Alolan Persian, man, look at that art. Very interesting, very unique as well. This is almost like a chalk. Is it, is it like chalk style or um, oil pastels? Very different from the other arts we have. Alrighty. For our last pack. Zerawa. Give us a GX card. Give us something nice. And that will be awesome. Because we gotta catch them all and get epic cards. Alright. We've got Fire Energy. We've got Fab. Electabuzz, Spell Tag, Jigglypuff, Alolan Meowth, with uh, a different kind of style artwork to the Alolan Persian. And we've got Cupchu, Tangela, Alolan Vulpix, and we got a Reverse Hollow Alolan Diglett. Alright, for our last card. Do we have something good? Okay. Is it an Hollow? It's a fire type. Or is it a ground type? The colors are so similar, sometimes it's so difficult for me to tell. So it's a ground type. And we got Dawn Fan. Really nice. 130 HP. Sturdy ability. If this Pokemon has full HP and will be knocked out by damage from an attack, this Pokemon is not knocked out. And its remaining HP becomes 10. Rolling spin 70 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon's rolling spin attack does 70 more damage before applying weakness and resistance. That's really strong. All right. Okay, so we got two Prism Star cards from our opening. Not too bad. I would totally take that. But unfortunately, we couldn't end this with a GX card. That would have been really much ideal. And I'd be much, much, much more excited if we have gotten that. And yes, um, now that all the code cards have not been shown yet, I will be showing you guys these code cards. All right, so we have four code cards left. And a quick announcement for you guys, the Evolt channel will be hosting a giveaway for these four code cards opened in the pack and weren't reviewed earlier from this video. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to the Evolt channel, and comment down below your favorite Pokemon card GX card, supporter card, trainer card from the Lost Thunder Booster Pack series in order to enter for this giveaway. I will be also posting the rules and uh, what you have to do in the description down below once again just to make sure you guys can read it as well as the date of the announcement will be posted down in the description box below of when the winner will be announced. So be sure to stay tuned and make sure to like again this video subscribe to the about channel and comment down below all right so as always
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And this is A Vault, signing out.